So, my camera's about to die, but just quickly, I, I don't know if you can see. You probably can't. You definitely can't. Back there is uh, my new wheels with tires mounted on them. Well, I say new, but really I've had them for like eight months. But they have tires mounted on them, and today they're getting put on, so that's sick. Sorry about... Uh, the video we shot yesterday kind of being all over the place but this one will hopefully have a little bit more continuity and yeah I've definitely been bright white for that whole shot haven't I kind of teleported back to my house but as I was in the middle of saying I went and got tires mounted on my wheels this morning there I went and got some lug nuts this is Phil from Fitment Solutions and he's gonna help me chuck the wheels onto my car and and we're gonna test fit them first and see how far we're gonna roll it and then kind of go from there. And I'm just gonna lower the car while we go along. Sweet. <laughs> Jeez. Looks so bad on camera. <laughs> Looks like I'm never gonna get these to fit, but they will. It's gonna look insane. Yeah. Mm. I'll remove. Tab. Uh, there's was... a tab on oh, the inner yeah. guard. Yep. So they'll come out and I'll fold the inner guard into the inside of the guard and then we'll mm. pump it out Yeah. From there, keeping it all together. And obviously once you go lower, you get more dead camber. Yeah, yeah. You What you want to probably end up with alignment Just wise. leave it like this and be a doink car. <laughs> or donkey, I don't know. What, are, what are they called? Yeah. Donk. Uh, I think you need 24s for that though, don't you? So I'll fold this one in here. At this, yeah. uh, at this point here, Mm. On stages when I do pump the guards out, it starts my, to, yeah, yeah, like it can't. There's a weak spot just because the you can see the door line so close to the fender yeah, line. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the trick is, and I'll show you a photo of a previous one that I did, is that I'll roll it and pump it so it looks so it's like naturally bowed from here to here, mm -hmm. and then that way we'll end up with the guard sitting like there. Once you, uh, you sort your heights and everything out. Yeah, perfect. Which I'm hoping like lots of low and heights. Is yeah. It's going to be the best way to make these wheels like really yeah, perfect. bounce. Cars up on jack stands now. Just getting to the rolling part. As you can see, there's lots of rolling to be done. I mean, but if you're not going hard, what, like why, why even do it in the first place, realistically? Hmm. Yeah, fully see it doing the wave. <laughs> That's cool. Rolled it out another thirty mil or so, so it's kinda like over the edge of the tire there now. But probably gonna roll it another five or so mil, maybe five five to seven or something, just to have it over the edge of that tire so I can tuck a bit of tire and have it look pretty good. I suppose about as good as it's gonna get. No paint crack or anything. Just lowering the coil is 30 mil now to um, to go a little bit lower to fit the wheels a little better. Nothing too exciting. But yeah, the guards on this side went well. The guards on the other side, because I got my paint touched up, the paint was a little bit thick and it kind of cracked a little bit. Yeah, you can see there, there's a bit of paint chipping and cracking just because of the paint touch up. So I'm just gonna have to get that redone, which isn't the end of the world, I suppose. So coilovers have been adjusted now. I'm now 30 mil lower and still rolling the rear other side. It's gonna be the most exciting video ever, right? It's been a couple of hours since I picked up the camera. My bad, sorry about that. But um, we have the wheels on, the guards all rolled. Um, the coilovers in the rear adjusted. The front right one, the threads uh, seem to be like well, the bottom won't turn on the thread, so I'm gonna have to take that to a shop to get the fronts lowered, which is frustrating. We're about to drop it off and see how the wheels actually sit under the guards. It's bucking down rain, as you can see. Cheers for that Brisbane weather. Hopefully the front ones kind of come in so that I can get around without rubbing too much until I can get alignment and stuff, but we'll see. 
see if it rubs anywhere. It shouldn't, not at this height anyway. <laughs> we want it to we want to lower it to the height where it does rub. Yeah. Okay for now. The front's still pretty pretty donk. <laughs> it's quite donk in the front. Yeah, we got a bit of monster truck fitment in the front here. But I'm going to uh, lower that more and camber it in so don't stress. Everyone on the internet's probably on their keyboards. Rear's okay. Gonna lower it a little bit more again, but it looks pretty good for now. Yeah, no. Guard roll looks great though. My car is on wheels. Weird. Man, that's hectic, eh? It almost looks like I'm higher than I was. Like, uh, well, it'll do for now till I can get some adjustments done. But the guard roll is perfect, so thank you very much. Oh, awesome. Right. What do you reckon? I like it. I just can't wait till it's dead. You and me both. Thank you very much, Phil. No problem. Appreciate it. Fitment Solutions, everyone check them out. If you're in the Brisbane area and you need someone to come out to your house and roll your guards, Fitment Solutions, they'll do it for you. Awesome. So I just finished work and drove over to me mate Jacob's shed. Say hello Jacob. That's Jacob. And yeah, since yesterday I had that siege front right coil over, we're gonna try to do whatever we can to unseize it and lower the front and probably lower the rear a bit more too. So yeah. Just gonna do close ups on your face the I whole time. Man. This is his Safiro that's been his project car for how long now? Two years. Two years, yeah, something like that. He used to have mad, a mad clean one, and then um, QR short track happened, <laughs> and now he's got this one. His wheels were rebuilt by the same guy that rebuilt mine, so. Yeah, and that fitment is absolutely ridiculous. Literal, like, not even credit card. Like, you couldn't even fit a credit card in there. That's actually really, like, what the hell, Jacob? <laughs> That's ridiculous. It's cool, eh? It's mad. Um, yeah, no, nah, my car's a piece of trash. And so, that coilover is just stuck, eh? So we're gonna try taking it out of the car and seeing if we can like do anything about it, like maybe take it to Jacob's parents' house and try put it in a vice grip or something. I Got the coil over out there. Right Got some sea spanners, we're taking it over to Jacob's dad's place to try and get this thing to move. Bush bashing! <laughs> I reckon I should do that in my car, be in its natural habitat with that monster truck fitment. Is it going? Yeah. You're the worst cameraman in the in the history of cameramen, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. Um, yeah, no. Nah, so basically, she's cooked. Um, it's like real stuck on there, so I'm just putting it back in my car, and I'm just gonna monster truck it until I can take it to get adjusted next Thursday. I uh, booked in to get like an alignment, so I'm just gonna tell them to adjust my suspension at the same time. 